In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to edit and render a 4K UHD video clip. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well I'm going to go through this tutorial assuming that you're new to Blender, so apologies to people who already know what I'm doing. Um, so the first thing, come up to the top left of the screen and where it says File, left click on this. You might have to do it twice until you see this browser here. And then next to New, select Video Editing. So I'm going to just hold my left mouse button down over this and sort of drag this down a bit because we don't need all these timelines. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is actually set the um, render up to match the video aspect ratio. So if I come up to the top of the screen where it says dimensions, there's a box, three dots with three dashes says render presets select this and then select the format that you want or the, the sort of resolution size so I'm going to select 4k UHD TV now what this will do is blow the view up here now you can roll your middle mouse to zoom in and out okay To bring a video into Blender, you've got some options. You can either navigate through your folders, I don't know, and literally find your video and drag it in. I prefer when I'm editing to have already selected the video or videos I'm going to use in a file browser and just drag it in this way. make sure that the frame rate is correct and this is the reason why I changed the dimensions first if I had brought this video in and changed the frame rate or checked that it had matched the frame rate and then changed it back to 4 or changed it to 4k it would have said it's 24 frames per second so to save having to change it again change the aspect ratio or size before you bring any videos in. So this is saying uh, the video is 29.97 frames per second which I know is correct. If you need to change it you'll have to select the little arrow and select the frame rate to match your video. So typically you may have it at 30, 50 or 60 frames. Anyway so this is fine so I'm set up for 4K UHD although officially really UHD isn't 4k but anyway that's neither here or there okay so back down to this I'm only gonna um, edit and render one clip if you're interested in doing multiple clips I have left a description on um, for a tutorial I did um, on HD video uh, rendering multiple videos so first of all without going into too many shortcuts and making this complicated in your clip you'll see a figure and at present this is saying 899 effectively what that's telling me there's 899 frames in this whole clip now blender doesn't give you anything when you first open up as a default more than 250 frames so up here or down in this corner here so you'll have to change it so I'm for now going to make this 899 or I'm going to change the end frame here to 899 and then I'm going to hit return. So what that will do if you roll your middle mouse in this box here and you can hold your middle mouse to move so middle mouse to move or zoom in and out same on the box up here or the the viewer up here so what this will do if I went ahead and rendered this now it would render the whole video so I've gone from frame one here you use these buttons to skip backwards and forwards to the end or the beginning frame so as I said from frame one it will render 
899 frames okay now if I wanted to edit this as you can see I've got no chance DaVinci Resolve I can edit 4k no problem but in Blender I've got no chance okay so that's fine make sure the clip is selected this hasn't got any audio but it's irrelevant if you're not sure just hold your left mouse button down and drag a box over the clip come over to the right hand side and select proxy and cache now you've got a few options in this box here but as we're only doing a single clip just place a tick in the box next to strip proxy and time code and you've got options here what this effectively means at present if I went ahead and rebuilt selected rebuild proxy and time code indices I will get a duplicate video AVI video 25% of the size of this video and what this will mean is I can edit it relatively easily but when I come to render I won't get a 25% uh, um, of the quality of the video it will actually render at a hundred percent so I've selected 25% you could if you want select 50 but make sure you deselect anything else so let's keep this at 25% it's perfectly good enough for editing so that's fine so once you've selected your proxy size select rebuild proxy and time code indices and there'll be a little bar comes across here so I'll come back to this when it's finished once your proxy is finished rendering place your pointer in this panel here then press N for Norman on your keyboard and then select view and then you've got something that says proxy render size and it usually says scene render size left click on this and select the proxy size to match the proxy that you've just rendered so in this case it's 25 percent you can press n again for norman to close that box down and now i can do this wonderful marvelous okay as i said i'm only going to render one clip um so if you're interested i think i've already said this i have left a link for doing multiple clips although that is in um, hd rather than uh, uhd okay so all i'm going to do is just select this button here to make sure my markers at frame one and making sure that this clip is selected i'm going to hold my left mouse button down and drag the clip to the left to the point where i want it to start so I don't know let's start here now anything before frame one this section here will not get rendered you don't have to cut or snap the ends up it just won't happen so this will render from this point here onwards now I'm going to just drag this over to here say I don't know so that's that'll do so I'm going to I want to finish here now I could cut this clip but then I've got end finish the end um, amounts here so if I look at this down here to the left to start it's telling me that this marker here is at frame 562 so in the end box where I've typed 899 or up here I'm going to literally type 562 and hit return now the reason you want to to make sure before you start um, editing that you've got all of your frames because if I'd left it at the t default setting of 250 frames when I created a proxy that's all I would have got is effectively 250 frames of proxy video so if you're not sure especially if you're doing multiple clips you can always put in um, an astronomical amount of um, end frame numbers regularly I put in something like 50,000 
and then finish off at the end afterwards so anyway going back this is the only part of the video that will render this bit before frame one won't render this bit here after frame 562 will not render okay enough of that okay let's get this rendered output box next to TMP there's a folder you have to do this on videos left click on the folder and then decide where you're going to save your video let's slap it on the desktop I've already done one here to make sure that it already works give it a title so I'm going to know 4k UHD that will do and select accept you might have to do this twice now at present this is set up to create images so I could if I wanted to create 500 odd images but I don't want to do that so PNG left click and select FFmpeg video and then open up the encoding box by left clicking on the little arrow and you've got your container now you could leave it at default but I'm going to select the little arrow and change to MPEG-4 now this hasn't got any audio but if I wanted to um, work with audio I would have to come down to here this box here where it says audio you may have to open it up and it'll say no audio left click on no audio and decide on the format you might want mp3 I would go for AAC so that's your audio your video codec setup oh and the only any other thing output quality as soon as you're using UHD it seems mad to have a medium quality so select medium quality by left clicking on it sorry medium quality and then go for high quality and that should give you a reasonably good video so you're set to go top left of the screen little box says render left click on this do not select render image as I said you'll get an animation or rather a series of images rather than a video select render animation and your video will start rendering I'll come back to this when it's finished once your video is finished rendering you can close this panel down and hopefully you should have a reasonable 4k UHD video clip hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers